Uh, Wait, can I get you to squeeze yes. half in? There we go, perfect. You guys get close. All right, whenever y'all are ready. All righty. Um, so, brothers, what is the best Christian hip hop album? Wow. Well, Wait, one? the best? Well, give, give a few of them. It's hard, uh, you know, know it's hard it, to pick that, one. That question, it depends. I mean, so top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. Top three. Top of all time. Of all My time. question is, how long has everyone been following Christian rap? Because, uh, I mean, if you, got, if you came in during that era when Cross Movement was hot, then you're going to probably choose the albums from there on. Me, I've been in the hip-hop album since 86. Wow. I was nine years old. But was actually Christian consistently, hip-hop back in 86? Yeah, yeah. Stephen Wiley had Bible Break. It was, uh, it was, it was you know, it was the 86. first one ever. Huh. Um, I was, was nine. It good? It was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> but no, no, check it out, check it out. But I got, I got really serious about the Lord when I turned uh, 15. No, I was 14, 14. And uh, uh, the first album that I really got hip to was SFC, Save Man in the Jungle. That was like, uh, man, that was, that was mine. It just turned my world around. But I, I saw the, the different phases of, of Christian rap as it went on. And uh, the first album that just blew my mind was Gospel Gangsters Gang Affiliated. That was, mm. now I know, I know what, the, the name of the group sounds off and people are like, <laughs> what is this? But man, I'm telling you, the production and everything, it was on the, the of course, at the time you had, you know, NWA, you had uh, Dr. Dre, but those guys, man, MC Solo, he's still one of my favorite MCs. So are you saying that Gang, gang Affiliated is in your top three that's, of all That's time? my top, I would say that's my, Okay, this is what I'm gonna say. That was my favorite. I mean, it would be in the top three. It wouldn't be maybe my number one, but that was the okay. one that made me go, "Oh my goodness!" What are I used your to play other with two? Friends and they were blown away. What Listen, are your other, other two? two? Okay, for, the number one album that Gang turned my world around <laughs> was Heaven's Mentality. Heaven's um, Mentality. Yes, uh, mm-hmm. and I, uh, by Cross Brady Movement. and all those casts know that I'm, the whole reason why Haza came came was because of that. I never saw myself doing hip hop, but that album just turned me around, and that mm-hmm. album was just ridiculous. So that mm-hmm. would be my number one. Gang Affiliated number two. Uh, number, number three, oh man, um, Dynamic Twins, Words of the Wise. That was back in 90. Okay. That was a good album. Those brothers in slept 90. on. Yes, I'm telling you guys, man, now when it comes to Christian rap, like, I, I, it's cool I'm able to actually sit back in and look no, at wait, the, that, how it's progressed. Let me, quick question now. Is, is this just the nostalgic, you know, nostalgia factor? Right, of right. Old school, this is what I grew up on. You know, when I was in junior question. high, I liked this girl, and we had right. dynamic twins playing in the background. Right. When My parents wouldn't let that happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Mom <laughs> and dad. <laughs> no, but you know what, though? That's, that's, uh, that's a good question. No, um, you, you know, so you honestly, though, if anything, it, if anything, yeah, there were some, some, some memories there because I was young, serving the Lord, and listening to that music when I was going, you know, the second period, right. you know, trying to witness to, to co-workers, or co-workers co- uh-huh. like students and stuff, and they were listening to their thing, and I would say, check this out. There's a lot behind that. Okay. But, so, but as far as an album that made me go, man, okay, Christian rap is becoming legitimate now. This is, this is when it becomes legitimate. I would say T-Bone's first album was kind of hot, he just sounded too much like a lot of the artists at the time. Matter of fact, he, he had that way of, of trying to sound too much where it sounded like it wasn't him. Okay. Whereas like Cross Movement, uh, Gospel Gangsters, and some honorable mentions, Freedom of Soul. Uh, no, no, no. no, I just, no, I just, I just <laughs> had to say their names. <laughs> just just okay, 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 okay. Just Freedom <laughs> of Soul. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Yeah, next, me. <laughs> um, in no particular order, I would have to say Christology. Mm. Um, and the reason I say Christology is I actually hated it when I first heard it. Mm. Mm. Uh, I hated all East Coast music. But, um, <laughs> Welcome but to the you know, by God's grace. Mm. <laughs> right. but, uh, you were born again at some point. I, <laughs> <laughs> I, I guess you can say that. Um, but yeah, like, just I, once I listened to the album, really, really for the first time, I just saw how we was regurgitating everything this dude had already said. Mm. So mm-hmm. it was just amazing to hear all those in-depth truths being communicated way back then. And mm. I mean, just dope lyrically. Deuce has not been able to do anything like that since. Will not be able to do anything wow. like that. Okay. <laughs> but that was an amazing album. Okay. Um, number two for me would probably be, of all time, would probably be Flame's album, Flame. I had a his feeling first you were say His Flame. first album. Uh, the reason I say that uh, is I don't necessarily think that's his best album artistically, okay. but I think that album had a great impact on Christian hip hop. Like mm-hmm. this was the first time, dude. Like you cross movement would say stuff, but Flame was coming at theological necks. Right. Like yo, right. like one is Pentecostal throwing cats over the bus. You <laughs> right. know what I mean? Like, right. and for us in St. Louis, that was a, a 
pivotal yeah. album. It, it just, mm -hmm. it, and for me, that's what it was. It was more the impact. I remember picking it up when it first came out and mm -hmm. it's raining and we riding in my brother car and we right. listening to it, mm -hmm. you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. So um, that had a deep impact. Number three, ah, number three would probably be um, and City Lights. <laughs> <laughs> number three would probably be uh, difficult. Man, number three would probably be uh, of all time. Damn, <laughs> man. Why y'all ask this question? <laughs> um, number three, I would probably say is Holy Culture. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, that, and the reason is, I mean, I, that's the first Christian hip hop album I ever heard. Okay. Wow. Like, and but I heard. Christology came out before that. I didn't hear Christology first. You heard, okay, so then you followed. Oh, so you, you caught on to that like a couple of years after it was out. Yeah. Christology hmm. was so. cool. I, the only thing about Christology, in my opinion, <laughs> was that the production, it just needed a little bit more personality in the production, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. um, Deuce's rhymes were ridiculous mm -hmm. in, that, in that album, but that's just, that's just one person's opinion. Me? Shy. Shy. Talk uh, to us, man. Talk to us. Christology. Mm -hmm. Without question, without Christology, there's no lamp mode. Mm -hmm. like, there's no a whole bunch of cats uh -huh. without Christ. Like, 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 like that set a blueprint um, for, um, for what we now know as lyrical theology. You know what I'm saying? Now, I know Cross Movement was doing it before, but, but Christology was, just, was the first place where you just had this concentrated, theological emphasis on the person of Christ. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it's classics on that joint, I yo. Agree, yo. Mm -hmm. um, so I would say Christology, um, this is in no particular order. Um, killing sin, yo. Mm -hmm. yeah. Killing sin, um, again, for me is, it, it just, I've, I've never heard anything like killing sin before, mm -hmm. um, both mm -hmm. from, from in terms of the in terms of the uniqueness of the subject matter, so the idea of what does Christ-centered sanctification look like? Like how mm. how how do you flesh that out? Um, and just I think it's lyrically brilliant. I think that the that the tracks match like the tone of whatever the particular song is perfectly. Uh, I think that's a, a brilliantly executed album. Um, and then lastly, you know, I'm probably going to have to say after the music stops, mm. Lecrae. Wow. I wanted um, to say that and, and, and the reason why I say that is, is because of the, the impact that it had on the genre. So kind of like in the same thing with what you're saying as far as Flame mm -hmm. is concerned, I, th I, think, I think after the music stops really took kind of what Reach and uh, the brothers from from the South were doing, and and just I mean Jesus music, right? Mm -hmm. Just took the genre absolutely to another level, I agree. Um, mm -hmm. and and I and I, I think as a genre we're still seeing the uh, the repercussions of that. Mm -hmm. I agree. Just a question. I'm sorry. I don't mean to butt any. I'm always talking when it comes to stuff like this. <laughs> but okay, do you guys base what you, like the top three albums on the impact they've had, or as far as the, the musical side of it. I mean, is is like for me, like when I mentioned the albums that we had, right. like, you know, it's more or less the talent. Not to say these cats don't have talent. I'm right. not saying that at all. I'm just saying, but um, if these didn't make as big of an impact, would you still rate that as, as a uh, top? <laughs> see, I, see, I don't, I don't know that you can necessarily divorce the two. Hmm. Um, I agree. Because, yeah. So, so you can, I guess you can kind of, you know, you can talk about just strictly the artistic side of right, things. Right. Right. Um, but I do think when you talk about the, if we're talking about the greatest albums, or I don't know if it's the most technically skilled albums, I don't know if there would be different categories, mm -hmm. but, but when you talk about projects that shape a particular genre, mm -hmm. that like, there's certain projects that after they drop, things are not the same anymore. Mm -hmm. and, 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 I, and I think I think that has to be included when you start talking about greatness as far as a project is concerned. That's true. Mm -hmm. And those albums things. may yeah. be, they may not be lyrically phenomenal. Like mm -hmm. Lecrae isn't the greatest lyricist I ever heard in and my life. And he'll say that. Mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. uh, but 
when it comes to creating songs and like where after the music stops, the stuff that was done on that album was mm -hmm. like, yo, like another boy has been set. Oh, I got and you. And it just changed, it changed the game of what we know. Like everybody started doing that. Right, right. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? That's so true. I think mm -hmm. those are, they play a pivotal role in the album. Just a yeah. question, not to take away from the artist. It's just, um, like, Cross Movement's first album did that for me. You right. know what I mean? Uh, right. But regardless of if it made it big, a big impact or not, I still thought it was a hot album, so. Gotcha. Right. Yeah. That's yeah, and cool. I, think, I think I would agree. I think one of, I think all three of mine have already been listed. Because <laughs> it's hard for me to think of albums that I've continually listened to over the past, you know, 10 years since I've been a believer. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think Heaven's Mentality was one of my favorites from the movement. Um, Christology was definitely, like, like, like Shah said, just a blueprint for me. Mm -hmm. um, and Holy Culture, I would say, mm -hmm. just because for me personally, it was a time when I was actually out here and I was a part of what was going on. Wow. And it was just like, for me, it was, a, it was just a, a good album overall. Like, like, you know, the movement, they kind of went... Um, a little commercial with Heaven's Mentality, and then there was that break, not Heaven's Mentality, but uh, Human Emergency. Human Emergency. Mm -hmm. And so, like, with Holy Culture, they had more of that organic sound again, and, right, and like, a lot of the beats were really good, and I was really cool with Fish, so I was really feeling his production at the time, and he had a lot of beats on there. And so it was, it was just an exciting moment for me, um, just just being connected with the with the cross movement and being around, so right. I, think, I think those would be my three. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I think okay. that's... Okay. <laughs> Much more could be said, yes, but amen. <laughs> <laughs>